guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip, I'm going to show you how to put holes in polymer clay beads. Now, there are a few tips that you should keep in mind if you want to make nice, straight, clean looking holes in your polymer clay beads. Now, if you've got a round bead like this and you've worked away with it and it's all perfectly round and warm and everything like that, if you just go ahead and, and pierce it now, and you just grab any old pin and you just shove it into the bead without too much care and attention, you're going to run into a few problems. First of all, I just grabbed this and I've got, I've distorted it with my fingerprints and the shape. I've squashed it a bit. The hole in the top is all dented in because I've just pushed the piercing pin in and it may be even pulled out a little bit to a cone. This clay wasn't super soft, but if I had a really soft clay, sometimes it can pull right out to a cone coming out the other end. And then I didn't even choose a straight bead pin and it came out all kind of crooked. So to avoid all those problems, you can do the following things. First of all, you want to have your the bead that you've just rolled to be nice and firm. You can do that by setting it aside for a while or like I just did here, I popped it into a bowl of ice water. That firmed it up nicely. I'm just going to dry it off slightly and I'm going to roll it in my hand just to make sure that there isn't any little flat spots from sitting in the bottom of the bowl. And same if it's sitting around on your counter. You just want to make sure there's no little flat spots and it's nice and round. But you don't want to warm it up too much. Next what you want to do is you want to make sure that you either wear gloves or you fill up your fingerprints with some cornstarch. So I've just got a little dish of cornstarch here. And I've got my fingers covered in cornstarch so that I'm not getting fingerprints all over my beads. Then I'm going to gently hold the bead. I'm not going to squash it and I'm going to choose my straightest, nicest bead pin. Now these bead pins come with the bead racks so they're perfect and they're nice and sharp. Now I'm just going to put look up straight up over top and put the bead pin in as straight as possible and I'm going to twist it. I'm not going to just shove it in. I'm going to twist it and it can help if you put a little water or cornstarch on the pin to um, when you're piercing it because it just kind of helps it slide in better. I'm twisting, twisting. I'm checking to see that it is straight. It isn't all crooked and wonky and then I'm just going to slowly push it through and just watch that I'm not pushing too hard when I'm have it come through the outside. Now what I often do when it's come through is I hold the bead gently and then just pull the bead pin back a bit. That way it will, if there was any little bit of a pucker here, it will pull it back inside and if I had pushed, if there was any kind of dent on this side, it will kind of pull it back out. It kind of just centers it. And then that's it. I would just hang this bead now on the bead rack and make sure I have smoothed it out, that there isn't any fingerprints that I caused on there by accident, that it looks nice and straight, and then I'll just hang it on the bead rack. Now, one quick tip for making sure that your bead pins go in nicely is what can happen if they sit around, they've been in water and they've been in the oven and a bunch of stuff, they can get all kind of rusty and you can see these ones here are. Just quickly take a piece of 400 grit or high grit sandpaper just sand them till the, all the rust is gone and then I'm not quite done but I don't have time. Then I would just wipe it with some rubbing alcohol and make sure it's nice and clean. Get rid of any ones that are crooked and make sure that they're nice and straight and that'll be perfect for you. So uh, my question for you is do you have any little tips that you'd like to share on making straight bead uh, holes in your bead, polymer clay beads. And if you do, please put those in the comment section below. And if you've had a challenge, let me know about that too. And uh, don't forget to press that like button. That is really helpful and it lets more people know about these videos. So we'll see you next time and bye for now.